Kyle, our question of the day is a pretty interesting one. Mm -hmm. uh, what does Corpus Christi mean? What is Corpus Christi? You see this on schools, yes. on cities, like on locations and buildings as a, a name of Corpus Christi Church. I know that I, I, one of my jobs where I work as a carer, I drive past the Corpus Christi School and the Corpus Christi Church. So what is that all about? Okay, so what is Corpus Christi? Very easy answer. It is a town in Texas. Uh, population 286,000 people, thereabouts, um, on the Gulf of Mexico. I'm a queer bluff, Lyle, because that's not the only place. <laughs> there are many towns called Corpus Christi. It's clearly you, a thing. You asked, what is Corpus Christi? I gave you the answer. There it is. It's a town in Texas. It's not just a town in Texas. There's multiple Corpus Christi towns around the world. So there's something in the water somewhere. Okay, so Corpus Christi is a word that is a, is a, is a Latin phrase made up of two words, obviously, Christ and corpse. Ew. Okay. The corpse of Christ. And it relates to the teaching of transubstantiation. Now, there's a big word for you. Um, and just to break that down, trans, change of, so trans, change of, substance. Mm -hmm. So transubstantiation, change of substance. And so in the Roman Catholic tradition, um, what you've got is, or what, what they believe, um, and what they've created through their tradition is that when they take the wafer that is the symbol of the body of Christ, the priest will hold that and say certain words over it. And when he sends those, says those certain word, words over the wafer, the wafer is turned into a portion of the corpse of Jesus Christ. So the priest is actually creating Jesus within the wafer. He becomes the creator of his creator. And those are not my words, those are the words of the Roman Catholic Church itself. They actually claim the power to be able to create their creator in the sacrament. And so this is not, this is, when, when a Roman Catholic takes the sacrament, the sacrament is not just a piece of bread that is symbolic of the body of Christ, it is literally the body of Christ. Now, of course, this predates Catholicism because this, you know, goes back to, um, you know, the, the worship of Mithra, which existed, you know, was a major religion um, around the Mediterranean in the first, second, third, fourth centuries, um, in which they would, you know, they would eat. The, it was come, goes back to the concept of eating the God. So the only way that you can get the power of God into yourself is if you actually eat the God and you physically take the God into yourself. And so, you know, this is why the wafer within that uh, within the Roman Catholic tradition is always a round wafer. It's a circle, um, because if you go back to the origins of it, it was a circle in the shape of the sun, and they were eating the power of the sun, the most powerful of all of God, all of the gods, into them, into themselves, and it would then become a part of their physical body. And of course, that was then uh, Christianized, so to speak. And became a part of uh, the tradition of the Catholic Church, and so yes, once a year they have a very special ceremony, which is the uh, the, the, the feast of Cor Corpus Christi, which is a a time where they uh, celebrate the fact that they can take the uh, body of Christ, they can actually create the body of Christ and then eat it. It's a little bit different in Lutheranism. They have what they don't have transubstantiation; they have consubstantiation, where they still believe it is the literal body of Christ. But rather than being changed by the words of the priest, it's changed by the faith of the believer. So if you have faith, it's the body of Christ. If you don't have faith, it's just a piece of bread. Um, and then your other Protestant traditions are like, no, this is not the body of Christ in any way, shape or form. Jesus says, my flesh, is, my, flesh my literal body, profits nothing. Um, and so your Protestant churches, your evangelical churches will say, this is a symbol of the body of Christ. We eat it on a regular basis to remind us of who Jesus was and what Jesus did. Thank you so much, Lyle. If you have a question, give us a call. 1-800-FAITH-FM. It's 1-800-324-843. You can text your questions to 0491-064-669. We will answer those live on air for question of the day. But for now, this is Carly Fetcher with Nothing in the World.